Hello, my name is Ashish Tanwar and I am here to explain the rule book of Eco Park 2016. Now we have seen in previous events people are unable to understand the rule book and hence cannot clear the technical inspection round. I hope this video will help you. As you all might know, Eco Park has delivered two successful seasons and this is the third one which is Eco Park 2016. Now Eco Kart is basically about designing and fabricating a single passenger cart which is operated by an electric motor. Now, in EcoCart, carts compete for the best design, innovation and efficiency. Now, the main objective of EcoCart is to reduce the organic fuel consumption and also to innovate in the automobile industry. For the students, it is to divert the focus of the students towards the go-green concept and also for the improvement of management skills and teamwork. Eligibility criteria for this competition is limited to undergraduate students. Now a team must have the 5 engineering students at least and the maximum limit is 15 and one faculty advisor is mandatory for every team and all, this limit is actually 2 faculty advisors are allowed for this competition and uh, students of engineering can be from any branch like uh, mechanical, automobile or any other branch actually and uh, the main part is that I will personally suggest that one of the members should have good knowledge of softwares of designing or manufacturing it will help you out in this competition. For the safety of audience and volunteers, the parameter which is not to be neglected is that the teams cannot run their cars in non-guided areas and without prior calls from the authority. If any team is found doing so, then strict action must be taken against them. The rules of this competition are made by the organizing committee and they are made with constant observation and skilled experience, so they are mandatory to be followed. Every team must have at least two drivers with 18 years of age at least and with a government approved driver's license and also must be having valid medical insurance both of the drivers which is valid for the days of the event. As I have already told you it is essential to have at least one faculty advisor. Maximum of two faculty ad advisors are allowed. Now the main purpose of faculty advisor is to advise you, to guide you on the general engineering and engineering project management theory. But uh, faculty advisor must be having a designation of associate professor, assistant professor or professor in your university or college. Now this is the main point that uh, faculty advisors are there to advise you and not to participate directly in marketing, planning, manufacturing of the, the card. About the eligibility of the vehicles. Now associated documentation and vehicles must be designed and fabricated by the members of the team only and not professionally. If vehicles are fabricated professionally, then the team may be disqualified from this competition. If a university or college have lack of access to the shop machine facilities, then they can uh, involve professional uh, fabricated frames, but in that case you have to submit a few documents to prove that you have lack of access. Now about vehicle safety, the main points are uh, fire extinguisher. The eco card must have 1 kg of fire extinguisher and uh, it is essential to have a C-type fire extinguisher and about the wire path, the wires must be properly labelled and no wire is allowed to pass beneath the chassis of the cart and a cart must have a rollover protection and also the front and rear bumpers with proper mechanism. About the safety of the driver, now a few points are helmet, a uh, driver must have a helmet with ISO or ISI certification and uh, also proper gloves, proper good quality bike gloves can work and uh, proper driving shoes a mouth guard and the seat and seat belts must be rigid and apart from that a suit or jacket which has to be fired. Now the materials to be used in the making of the car. The first point to remember is that my use of mild steel is prohibited and you can use any type of alloy or steel but its weight density should be at least equal to or less than that of stainless steel. But whatever steel you are using you should have a proper certification or proof of inspection. Now as you can see in this card in this frame, they have used cylindrical pipes like this and rectangular pipe like this. You can use any of them as a, you know, your convenience. But uh, the pipe should be seamless. By seamless, I mean they have welded it at the joints only and not in between at these joints and these joints. So there won't be any. There should not be any welding in between when not required. In Eco Kart, use of suspensions are optional. You can use suspensions if you want but you should be able to explain why you are using them. You should have a proper reason. Now, the two terms that you need to know about are track width and the wheelbase. Now, track width is 
the distance between the center of the left wheel to the center of the right wheel. This distance is known as the trackway. And the distance between the center of the front wheel to the center of the rear wheel is known as the wheel base. Now, the track distance between the track weight of front wheels to the rear wheels should not exceed 20% as compared to one another. And the track weight of uh, the smaller track weight of the car, either front or rear, should be at least 80% of its wheel base. Now, we'll talk about general requirements. In general requirements, like vehicle configuration. In vehicle configuration, you can you can only use four tires, and uh, they can't be assembled in a straight line. And every car should have only one person seating capacity. Now about tires and rims, you can use any type of tire or any type of rim, but the outer diameter of the rim or you can say inner diameter of the tire, this diameter should not be greater than 10 inches. In the rule book, we have written that the width of the two extreme points of the car should be minimum 50 inches and the length of the two extreme points of the car should be minimum 80 inches, which is wrong. The right thing is the two extreme points of the car, for example, from here to here should be maximum 50 inches and the total length of the car from two extreme points which in this case is this and to the rear point this should not exceed 80 inches technical specification for the battery and the motor should be as per the road book anything other than that will be unacceptable every car must have a fuse or circuit breaker between the connections of battery and the motor now, a circuit breaker breaks the connection between the battery and the motor in case of any voltage fluctuations and also prevents the damage for the motor. You can use any type of motor controllers, but a hybrid motor controller is preferred to avoid cutoffs. Teams are free to use DC-DC converter or alternators as per their preference. The ground clearance of any car should be at least 1 inches. The ground clearance is calculated as the distance from the extremely lower point of the body of the cart to the ground except wheels. As you can see in this case, the extremely lower point of this cart is the disc, the end of the disc and this distance from the disc to the ground is the ground clearance. For every cart, it is mandatory to have a red brake light at the rear of the cart, one like this. You can use LED lights, but it is important that the light should be visible in bright sunlight. Now this part you can see is known as hitch point. A hitch point is the part which is used to tow the cart and it's mandatory to have two of the hitch points, one at the rear of the cart and another at the front. Every cart must have a dash fuel gauge or dash fuel meter which shows the power of the battery or condition of the battery and also every cart must be embedded with a charger preferably which uses less than 10 ampere current socket. For every cart it is essential to have a kill switch it uh, can kill all the electrical operations of the cart and uh, also the power supplied from the battery to the motor. In steering, any two wheels of the vehicle should have steering control and uh, the wheels should be connected through steering mechanically and not steer by wire. By steer by wire, I mean that steering should not be connected to the wheels by electrical or electronic actuation. Every cart should have a positive steer stop. If a car does not have a positive steer stop, then when they turn the wheels to the extreme point, the uh, wheels might damage the assembly of the wheel or any other part of the body. Now, positive steer stop stops the wheel at the extreme points. As you can see, as I'm turning the wheel, as you can see, when it reaches the extreme point, this part stops the um, wheel to turn um, any further. This number, which is written to L, this is known as a positive steer stop. As we have already discussed, any two of the wheels or any axle should have braking system, but they should be controlled by a single pedal or single control. Now, in EcoCart, a uh, handbrake is mandatory. And braking pedal should be connected to the wheels mechanically and not brake by wires. For every cart, it is essential to have rear view mirrors, one like this, on both sides of the EcoCart, and also reverse gear. For reverse gear, you can use by changing polarity, it will be economical. Now you all might know that weight is not a constraint in this competition but you need to know that the more weight you put on in your car, the more it affects your performance and efficiency in a negative way. At the beginning of the tech competition, there will be a technical inspection. So the inspector should be able to see the whole transmission system of your car clearly. And your bodywork should be designed so that we can put a logo of EcoCart like this and the vehicle number on it. The cost of the manufacturing of an eco card should not exceed 75,000 INR 
and uh, it excludes the cost of the battery, safety equipment and driver care. So this was the total explanation of the rule book. If you have any further queries, you are free to contact our team uh, on the provided contact numbers and email IDs. Thank you.